Signing of the Anti-Comintern Pact by Germany and Japan The Anti-Comintern Pact was an anti-communist pact concluded between Nazi Germany and the Empire of Japan, later joined by other governments, mainly fascist, on November 25, 1936 and directed against the Comintern. This anti-communist pact is indeed contrary to the ideology of the Communist International. This pact aims to destroy all the countries under its command. Because communism tends to harm the internal peace of states, as well as their social welfare. Therefore, the concept behind communism tends to be a threat to world peace because of the subversive activities involved in it. In the following video, we review more about the history of the German and Japanese anti comintern Pact which was signed on November 25, 1936. The Pact's origins arose when various German officials both inside and outside the foreign ministry attempted to balance the competing demands of the Reich's foreign policy with its traditional alliance with China versus Hitler's desire to befriend China's sworn enemy, namely Japan. The pact was originally to be introduced at the end of November 1935 with an invitation for Britain, Italy, China and Poland to join. However, German Foreign Minister Baron Konstantin von Neurert and Minister of War Field Marshal Werner von Blomberg worried that the pact might damage Sino-German relations. Added political turmoil in Tokyo after the failure of the military coup on February 26, 1936 caused the pact to be suspended for a year. In the summer of 1936, the increasing influence of the military in the Japanese government, fears in Berlin and Tokyo about the Franco-Soviet alliance, and Hitler's desire to undertake the dramatic anti-communist foreign policy moves he believed could lead to the German-Anglo alliance led to the idea of the anti-Comintern pact being revived. The pact was initialed on October 23, 1936, and signed on November 25, 1936. To avoid damaging relations with the Soviet Union, the pact should apply only to the Comintern, but apparently contained a secret agreement at the time that if one signatory nation became involved in a war with the Soviet Union, the other signatory nations would maintain neutrality. The pact stated that in the event of an attack by the Soviet Union against Germany or Japan, the two countries agreed to consult about what action to take to protect their common interests. They also agreed that neither of them would make a political agreement with the Soviet Union, and Germany also agreed to recognize Manchukuo. On November 6, 1937, Italy also joined the pact, thus forming the group that became known as the Axis Powers. Italy's decision was more or less a reaction to the failure of the stress affront. The 1935 Franco-British initiative designed to keep Nazi Germany from overreaching. In particular, both countries tried to block German expansion, particularly the annexation of Austria, which was also in Italy's best interest to prevent. Relations of distrust and the expansionism of Benito Mussolini himself further widened the gap between Italy and the United Kingdom, as well as France. Italy invaded the Ethiopian Empire in October 1935, an act of gratuitous aggression that was a violation of League of Nations policy. Nevertheless, Britain and France made a secret agreement with Italy to give it two-thirds of Ethiopia, the Horlaval Pact. When this information was leaked to the public in England and France, their governments were mired in scandal and the British Foreign Secretary, Samuel Hoare, was forced to resign. As a result, the Horlaval Pact was annulled. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.